Well, dear friends, hello. Let's start with what staking is, why it exists and what it entails. We are talking about staking on a smart blockchain. Its native coin is smart, specifically smart. We have delegated proof of stake, meaning proof of stake is delegated. Here, we are discussing what influences the network itself, namely our smart blockchain and its key, most basic coin, smart. Therefore, today we will be talking about smart staking, since the network requires delegation, voting, representatives, candidates, and partners, all of whom vote, we have our token, the smart coin, for this purpose. So what is staking and how does it work on the smart blockchain? Staking, simply put, is freezing. It involves freezing your smart coins in your wallets. At the moment, my friends, there are just a few final touches left for this functionality to be fully operational in our existing smart blockchain. We will manage all of this from our mobile wallet. Therefore, it is crucial to update to the latest version of Smart Wallet, as it will provide you with the ability to freeze your smart coins for staking. Yes, the freezing, aptly named Freezy. Freezing smarts, or staking, is primarily and exclusively done to obtain resources for our network. Currently, as a regular user, you use your mobile wallet to conduct transactions with smarts, tokens and splits, interact with contracts such as take reward to claim rewards, and get rewards. All these actions are transactions. Transactions consume network resources. In our network, the resources are bandwidth and energy. What is bandwidth? In English, it means throughput capacity. In our case, each of you has 1,500 units of bandwidth per day, meaning you have 1,500 bandwidth units daily. It operates on a very sophisticated algorithm, but nevertheless, your daily bandwidth limit is 1,500 units. This means that you can perform transactions in smart, almost... I'm even sure that some of you make free transactions every day. A free transaction means that you don't need to pay with smarts for it, my friends, within the network, the blockchain. The fee consists of resources, which are bandwidth and energy. Let's take a moment to differentiate between these two concepts. Let's now take a closer look at these two concepts. So, my friends, here we have opened our Smart Explorer. On the main page of our Blockchain Explorer, we see two charts, Accounts and Transactions. Accounts represent each wallet. We've already covered this in our previous webinars. We know that an account is any wallet in the blockchain. And let's just randomly select any of these wallets. What do we see here? We see these wonderful charts, smart power, energy, and bandwidth. In today's webinar, we will be getting acquainted with the concepts of bandwidth and energy. Here we see that the current account has 1,222 units of bandwidth remaining, meaning throughput capacity. This indicates that the user can perform transactions in smart contracts using their daily bandwidth limit. Bandwidth is throughput capacity. Energy is simply energy. This means that each of you can open any wallet on your blockchain explorer and see how much energy and bandwidth this wallet has available right now. So why do we stake our smarts? When staking smarts, you have the option to choose the purpose for which you are staking them. The primary goal of staking is to reward those who stake with either bandwidth or energy. When you stake your smarts, you can choose how you want to stake them, for bandwidth or for energy. You cannot stake for both resources simultaneously, only for one. You can split the amount you have in your balance. For example, if you have 100,000 smarts, great. You can stake 50,000 of these smarts for energy and 50,000 for bandwidth. This way, the blockchain increases your resources, specifically for your account and wallet. So, for the blockchain, instead of having zero units of energy and 1,500 units of bandwidth per day, you now have much more. This could be tens of thousands of units of energy and bandwidth, which essentially allows you to make transactions on the blockchain for free by paying with your resources. Let's now talk more in detail about what bandwidth and energy are. Bandwidth is the network's throughput capacity, and it is consumed by every transaction, both within the smart network and when handling tokens. This unit of resource is used for every transaction in the smart blockchain network. Energy is another resource, a different type of resource, which is important for smart contracts. So, friends, we return once again to the screen demonstration and open our Smart Explorer again. 
Let's just refresh. Here we have a transaction. It's the first one that came up in the list of transactions. We can immediately see that it is a take reward transaction. This means that someone at this moment during the webinar received a certain amount of Ultima for splitting. In other words, they are receiving Ultima as a reward for holding splits. Let's take a look. How much bandwidth was spent on this transaction? 280 units. Excellent. How many smarts did the user burn for this transaction? Zero. This indicates that the user's daily bandwidth limit provided the necessary throughput capacity for this transaction. There was no need to burn smarts or spend their own smarts from their balance. But now pay attention to the energy. The energy required to process this transaction, specifically the take reward transaction, to get Ultima from the smart contract. The smart contract executed the reward claim transaction. The initiator always pays for the transaction, meaning every user who clicks the take reward button daily initiates this transaction and consequently is the payer for this transaction. In order for the network to process this transaction, it needs to use some resources. If we look at the current bottom part, we see bandwidth. Every user has a certain amount of bandwidth per day, which gradually increases but does not exceed 1,500 units. For this transaction, 280 units were used, which is within this daily limit, meaning the user's bandwidth was sufficient for the transaction. Therefore, they didn't need to convert smarts into bandwidth. Now things get more interesting with energy. Look, for this transaction to be processed, we paid 54,064 units of energy. That's 54,064 units of energy consumed by this transaction. The user didn't have this energy. They didn't have smarts frozen for staking specifically for this resource, so they had to pay for it with smarts. So the network took 1,135 smarts from the user to cover the energy required for this transaction. What does this mean for us? The user paid for 54,000 units of energy by spending 1,135 smarts. Now we understand the purpose of staking. I will get resources, which means I will pay less in fees using smarts. If I have enough resources to perform transactions without burning smarts, then these transactions are practically free within our blockchain. Imagine how much freedom each of you, every user of the smart blockchain, will have with the introduction of staking. Your range of activities will significantly expand. The possibilities that staking provides to the user are simply fantastic. If previously you had to perform transactions by paying with smarts because you didn't have the resources, now those resources will become available. A user who stakes smarts for bandwidth, energy or both increases their resources. These resources allow them to perform transactions on the network without burning their own smarts. My friends, let me return to the chat now. I'm going to click on Stop Sharing. Please respond, Is everything clear now? Is everything accessible? Do you understand the concept of staking, the resources in the network, and what each resource is used for? This is very important, my friends. Please don't hesitate. OK, I see the responses. Great, thank you. Very clear. Yes, super. Good. Thank you very much. We are preparing to implement staking in our blockchain. When this happens, the first thing to note is that staking will not be possible without the new mobile wallets. So, a little bit of updating is needed everywhere. Accordingly, my friends, as soon as the new version of the smart wallet app becomes available, it will be released simultaneously on Android, iOS, and available from the website. All three sources where you can get our app will be updated to version 1.20.0. The current version is 1.19, and the next version is 1.20. Of course, the information about what's new in this application will be indicated in the store, including the availability of staking. Only in this version will you find the new menu we will discuss in the upcoming webinars. For now, just be prepared to update your application. Once the application is updated, you will be able to stake your smarts. I see a question in the chat. My friends, we are not a bank. We are an entirely decentralized blockchain that operates according to its own algorithms with its own needs and resources. Some transactions are simple. A user might have no transaction history and only one token which they send. For this operation, the network requires minimal computation and therefore less energy. Others have complex computational processes. 
you had 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5. There are some fractional parts, some merging, meaning pairing of transactions. This all needs to be calculated, processed, and timed. Smart contracts have different computational complexities. Accordingly, the more complex a transaction is in execution and calculation, the more expensive it is. This is because the computer, the network, and the blockchain itself will spend more time and energy on this work. Therefore, to answer the question, how many smarts need to be frozen to have a free splitting transaction? I cannot give you a specific answer. And one more nuance, the staking calculation formula. In fact, the formulas for calculating staking for both bandwidth and energy are the same, but they are calculated differently. Here's how to calculate how many resources you will receive and how it works in the network. It's very simple. Your staking share, meaning the amount you have staked for a resource, for example, 100 smarts, is divided by the total amount of staking currently in the network for that resource. So, if there are hundreds of people in this webinar and each of you stakes one smart, the formula would be as follows. Your single smart will be divided by all the smarts that have been staked for this resource and then multiplied by the daily limit of that resource. That's all. The formula is very simple. Your share divided by the total amount of all smarts staked for this resource. For bandwidth, it's calculated by the total amount of smarts staked for bandwidth and then multiplied by the daily limit. Energy is calculated in the same way. Your share staked for energy divided by the total amount of smarts staked for energy across the network and then multiplied by the daily limit. The daily limit is 90 billion for bandwidth and 43.2 billion for energy, respectively. These calculations are updated continuously. And when you stake your smarts, you immediately start receiving these resources from the moment of staking, from the moment of freezing. This is very convenient. Questions that were in the chat, when do they mature? My friends, maturation happens very quickly. By getting staked smarts, you get resources and can start using them immediately. You can stake smarts for an unlimited amount of time, meaning you can unstake them at any moment. Let's talk a bit about the formula. You and I, the person on the other side of the screen, are users. You and I have different transactions. For example, the network might spend 1,000 units of energy on my transaction, 700 units on yours, or even 1,700 units. Plus, there are different contracts, different splits, different costs. So, there is no single cost for a transaction. Each of us has different transactions, and the network will calculate them differently. The second nuance, dynamic indicators of the network. The formula for the resources credited to us depends on two factors, how much we have staked and how much resources have been staked in the network. The limit is always constant. From our formula, there are only two static units, the maximum daily limit of energy and the maximum daily limit of bandwidth. Everything else is dynamic, how much you have staked and how much is staked in the network overall. Today you staked 100, no problem. Tomorrow you add another 10 to those 100, so your formula changes. At the moment you staked 100, there was a total of 1 million smarts staked in the blockchain. But an hour later, it became 2 million. And an hour after that, it became 1.5 million. Because some people stake, others unstake, then some stake again, and others unstake again. Thus, we have complete dynamism in the distribution of resources, which primarily depends on the users of the network themselves. Therefore, my friends, I cannot provide a definitive answer to the question of how much you need to stake for the splitting transaction to be free. At this moment, I do not have that information. I cannot tell you how much you need to stake to have enough for one take-reward transaction per day. This is because, first, we do not know how much you will stake, and second, we do not know the total amount of staking in the network. The more staking there is in the network, the smaller our share of resources will be, since the resources are limited. There are always two main parameters, the limits. It's good that this information will be available in our applications and on our Explorer. You will be able to open your mobile app and see, Aha! I have resources, I have energy, I have bandwidth, good. So this information will of course be accessible to you. You will be able to check how much you spent on one transaction today and how much you spent yesterday. You can compare these amounts. 
Generally, energy costs the same for the same types of transactions. So we have figured out that we have network resources, bandwidth and energy. When we talk about bandwidth, it is used everywhere. But typically, when we talk about low energy consumption transactions, these are smart transactions. So if you are working with smarts, you don't need energy. But if you need smart contracts, you need energy. All tokens on the smart blockchain are smart contracts. Split 1, Split 2, Split 15, Split 48, Ultima, and all other tokens are smart contracts. Working with smart contracts requires energy, so you can decide for yourself what types of transactions you use and why you need resources. For transactions with smarts, or transactions with smart contracts, you have the right to choose how much you want to stake for energy and how much you want to stake for bandwidth. That's a great question about whether you can leave or withdraw them and so on. My friends, staking is a phased introduction of this functionality. At the initial level, we are talking about staking for bandwidth and energy. Later, when the voting feature becomes available, smart power will also be introduced. At that point, we will be discussing the very cool APR metric, which involves rewards in smart. If you have an energy limit, open your wallets now. You will see an icon for smart and an icon with coins. You will see two charts there, bandwidth and energy. They might show zero now, as they are not fully integrated with the Explorer yet. But the Explorer does have information about your bandwidth and energy. This tells us that we cannot accumulate energy. It's not a deposit or a savings account. It's not something you can choose not to spend today and then receive more of tomorrow. The maximum amount indicated in your wallets per day is 1,500 bandwidth. If we don't stake, it can't exceed 1,500. No matter how much we spend or try to save, it doesn't accumulate. It is essentially static and just waits for you to use it. Didn't use it? That's fine, you still have 1,500. Used it? Well, wait a bit. It will replenish as it accumulates over the day and updates. So the answer to the question of whether you can accumulate it is no. What is the unlocking period for staking? That's a good question. Before we discuss unlocking, let's talk about what freezing and unfreezing mean. It's actually not just one transaction, or even two. When we perform a freezing transaction, we essentially remove these tokens from our available balance. So imagine you currently have 100,000 smarts in your wallet. OK, the available balance is written there. When you stake them, your available balance will show zero. Just zero if you stake all 100,000 for resources. So if you realize you want to move your smarts somewhere else and they are frozen or staked, you need to perform an unstaking transaction, unfreeze them. The unlocking period currently is 14 days. This is visible in the current proposal in the network, the current purpose and proposals in our blockchain. This information is publicly available. Currently, this functionality does not exist. There is no staking in the network at all. But when it is ready, the information about unlocking will be announced and repeated in the chats, all instructions, and, of course, in our upcoming webinars. However, it is important to note that there is an unfreezing period for your coins. It's crucial to understand that once you click the Unstake Smarts button, this unfreezing period begins. You need to manually retrieve them. They won't automatically appear in your wallet. They won't become available on their own. You have to transfer them out of staking. They will stay there for a while, unfreezing, like a piece of meat in the microwave. Then you need to take that piece of meat out. The unfreezing process is like our microwave. It spins, defrosts, and then stops. Your piece of meat is defrosted and ready. Similarly, in your wallet, the smarts are unfrozen. But you need to retrieve them. Yes, they are now in your available balance. Give them the opportunity to become your accessible smarts. You will need to perform another transaction to move these coins into your available balance so that you can use them. Answer to the question, when will smart staking be operational? My friends, very soon. How much and for what will staking generate? One unit. Yes, we are talking about one unit. The minimum amount of staking that can be staked is one smart. This is the minimum amount of smart that can be staked. How long is smart frozen for? My friends, it's entirely up to you. You can press the freeze button and then unfreeze a minute later, whatever you prefer. 
Staking 2.0 allows you to freeze additional amounts and choose the periods when you want to unfreeze. It's all under your control. Your phone, your wallet, your account, your management. No problems at all. Will there be an option to send smart to staking? My friends, this is very important. Smart staking is an exclusive feature on the blockchain. As the owner of your tokens, you will need to stake them yourself in your wallet. As I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, nothing is sent to staking. It all happens within your wallet, at your address, on your balance, in your blockchain account. That alphanumeric line is your address, your account, and everything happens there. Everything you stake on Binance, Bybit, or anywhere else is not related to the blockchain. Those are not your tokens. They are not the tokens you have on your balance. You do not own them. The exchange owns them, only the exchange. What it does with them and what it gives you in return is their concern. But it is not the same as staking, receiving resources from the network and working directly with the network. Therefore, when we talk about smart staking, it is exclusively staking, no sending. Please do not think that there will be an opportunity for someone to provide you with more energy. If someone offers you to send your smarts to some super staking wallet that will give you five times more energy, a hundred times more bandwidth and other perks, that is not staking. Staking is only done by you and only under your control. No other methods exist to obtain resources if it is not real staking. So never send your smarts anywhere if someone tells you they are handling staking with some amazing benefits. No, that cannot be true. Therefore, my friends, never send anything. Where can this be seen in the wallets? Just wait, it will be visible in version 1.20. Is there a plan to bring back the percentage burning of smart from product costs? Friends, at the moment there is a burning fee. Yes, it exists. The burning fee is present up to 5%. This has not changed and is still in effect. If we are talking about Ultima, this has been preserved. Will we be receiving a percentage for staking smart? We need to understand that staking and voting are two different things. Rewards in smarts are only for voting. We have already covered this. But since we are talking about staking, we need to understand that as soon as we stake smart, in addition to bandwidth and energy, a third type of resource also appears. This is voting, or smart power, which is used for votes. We will be using votes to vote for candidates, super representatives, or super representative partners to get the reward in smarts. We must understand that we are a young blockchain. Just last year, we launched the network. The blockchain is operational. Everything is working wonderfully. We introduced the splitting technology. Wow, it's cool, unique, and revolutionary. And now... As we move towards full decentralization, we want to become completely transparent and understandable to the majority. We are a young, absolutely new blockchain that has not existed on the market before. Now we are opening the possibility for staking. This means we are giving control of the network into the hands of our users. Those who have smarts can stake them, get resources, and later they will be able to vote and participate in elections. But this will happen gradually. First, we are launching staking, where you can receive resources in NBS Energy. The next steps will be voting and getting those percentages of smarts for voting, because voting rewards are in smarts. These rewards are formed by votes, not by staking per se, but by voting. Therefore, the primary purpose of staking is not to receive smarts, but to receive resources. When we talk about the smart power resource, it can be used for voting which can then be beneficial in terms of getting smart commissions. Will Ethereum staking be available on our platform? Yes, my friends. We are working on making existing networks like Ethereum and Tron available for staking. However, Bitcoin will not be available for staking, but Ethereum and Tron will be. Is energy for free transactions unavailable during the unfreezing period? Of course. As soon as you click unfreeze, your resources say goodbye. Note that you only receive resources while your coins are staked. If you unfreeze them, even during the unfreezing period, the resources no longer belong to you. Resources are only allocated when the coins are frozen, not in any other state. 
what we just discussed, we will review in the mobile app on the Explorer as the update will affect the Explorer, with many new tabs added and the mobile app. Don't worry if something seems confusing at first, like unfreezing, energy, bandwidth, selecting this, freezing that, or a lot of text. Don't worry, we will go through all of this together, but today I just need to prepare you for the upcoming staking. We need to understand what it is, so it's not just about freezing and then wondering, where are my smarts? This was helpful for me. I somehow thought we would be receiving smarts. Thank you. Bandwidth and energy. Got it. Thank you, Igor. Great. Thank you very much. What is the maximum amount of smarts that can be frozen? Whatever you have, you can freeze all of them. The main thing is not less than one. Well then, all the best to you. Good luck and back to work I go. Bye.